Here's your 41 Now update, sponsored by Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. I'm Kevin Holmes with a look at your headlines from 41 Action News on Tuesday, July 2nd. Protests breaking out Tuesday over immigration. This comes after reports on the conditions at border detention centers. Demonstrators gathered outside the offices of Senators Pat Roberts and Roy Blunt. They want Congress to close some of the migrant detention centers. The U.S. women's soccer team scored a major victory Tuesday, beating England in the Women's World Cup semifinals. Hundreds of fans gathered in the Power and Light District to watch Team USA. There will be another watch party Sunday morning at 10 a.m. to watch the women's team take on either Sweden or the Netherlands. The FAA reminding people don't send your drones up in the air during a fireworks show, people. The FAA also strongly advises not to fly drones over people or near airports. We don't want anyone getting hurt during the upcoming 4th of July holiday. Stick around. Gary Lezak has your forecast after this. Did you know there are many factors up for discussion in a deal? A realtor will look at every angle from your perspective, including crafting a purchase agreement that allows you the flexibility you need to take that next step. Visit KCRAR.com to find a realtor near you. Here is our forecast over the next few days. It'll be in the upper 80s and maybe even cooler middle 80s by Friday. And the chance of showers and thunderstorms will be there with a little disturbance coming our way. So I think it's probably going to rain over the next three days a little bit around the area, but not everyone. So we'll just hope it doesn't land on some of these fireworks displays. All right, we'll keep you updated. Remember, you get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com. Cutting the cable cord? 41 Action News is now on Roku. Search KSHB, add our channel, and you're set. All of our newscasts stream live. No other station in Kansas City can say that. Get clear, complete coverage on 41 Action News now on Roku.